Today we're going to take a look at Peter Green, World Keeps Turning. Okay, Peter Green is, in my opinion, one of the best guitarists in the world because of his soulful playing. But we're going to take a look at some of the licks and themes that are involved in this piece. So the first technique you're going to need to get the hang of is this driving rhythm. So if you just fret an E minor chord, place this part of your hand across the bridge. To that rhythm, you can chuck in the odd upstroke. I can do that with either the pick or with these two fingers. I find it easy with a pick, that's why I do it with a pick. Okay, once you've got the hang of the rhythm, then you've got to get the hang of the licks. So we'll take a look at that now. Okay, so there are five main licks that Peter Green uses in this song. And they all come from the E minor pentatonic scale. So make sure you're familiar with that scale. I've done another video on it, so you can check that one out and then come back to this if you're not familiar with it. Okay, so lick number one. This is like the main lick of the whole tune. slower. So what we've got is open E string, third fret, open A string, second fret, then just open D string. And then we've got a hammer on with a pull off, which is on the A string, on the second fret, and land on the low E string, on the third fret. And then we've got a hammer on with a roll. Let's put that together. It's quite a tricky one to get right, but you're just gonna have to keep going round. Trying to get it. I'll play it for you again slower. Okay, so lick number two features a rake at the end of it, but we'll look at the main part of the lick first. So we've got so open E, low E string, third fret, open A string, second fret. Have these fingers ready to mute the strings and then you can put a rake afterwards. Of course don't play the rake there, play it down over the frets. So what you end up with is... Okay, so lick number three. So what you're doing is you're fretting on the third fret on the low E string. doing is you're gently lifting the finger slightly off to get the rhythmic feel when you're picking it. Make sure you put that vibrato on the end of that note. Okay, so lick number four, we're going to make a small bar here, second fret on the D string with the first finger, and then second fret on the G string as well, so it's a little A5 chord, 
Okay, we're gonna take the second finger to the third fret on the low E string and play this note and slightly bend it. And then play the A5 chord afterwards. Okay, so here's lick number five. Okay, so what we're gonna do is place the first finger on the second fret on the B string, the second finger on the G string on the third fret. Then we're gonna slide this upper whole fret with using upstrokes. So you end up with. And then we're going to slide the second finger down on the G string to the second fret. So now we're going to look at the second part of that same lick, which is the end little fill. So what we've got is second finger, third, fret on the high E string, so we're going to play that in the open string, then we're going to play the B string on the third fret, so you end up with, and then land on the G string on the third fret, so that's the tritone there, blue note. Set that down to the second fret. Then open G and land on the D string on the second fret. Okay, so you're going to need to practice all those licks, get nice and used to them. Then if you watch the video that's up on YouTube with Peter Green playing this song, it's the one where Danny Kerwin breaks a string, you should get a feel for the song and how all the licks go together. So yeah, just get used to it. It'll take a lot of practice to try and get it sound anything like Peter Green, because he's so good. But once you put it all together, it should be something like this. Mm -hmm. 